Jack. It's raining outside. You should turn off the TV now. Yes, Jill. It's raining outside, and there is lightning in the sky. Don't be afraid. You are safe here, inside your home. See? That little sparrow is also safe with her kids inside the nest. But what about animals? Do they live in their home too? Let the rain stop. We will go out. And I will explain this for you and our friends. Wow, I am so excited to see the homes of animals. Look carefully. Some homes are small, some are big. And they look different from each other. Similarly, animal homes come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Oh, I see. The environment in which an animal lives must provide water, food, shelter, and space. Remember, we were safe inside our home when it was raining. Similarly, animals' homes must also make the animal feel protected from harsh weather, predators, and other threats. Can you show me some of the most common ones, please? Sure, bro. Did you also hear a cow's sound? There is a barn on the opposite side. Is that a cow's home? I want to watch that. Look at this cow having meal in her barn. A barn is a large open space enclosed by walls and a ceiling. Horses, cows, goats, and sheep live in the barn. Oh, hi, puppy. What are you doing here? I think there is a doghouse in the neighborhood. Wow, such a beautiful doghouse. See, my new friend has taken us to show its house. Yes, the most common animals that live in houses are dogs and cats. These houses are usually made of wood or plastic. Hey, Jack, what are you doing here? See, that's a web in the tree. Is there a web in the flowers too? Yes, spiders spin webs with threads produced by their silk spinning organs. When insects are trapped in the sticky silk, the spiders catch and eat them. See? Some honeybees are seen above. Is that their home? Yes! Bees and wasps make hives using wax inside their bodies. These cute insects like to live together in huge numbers in the hives. A honeybee was chasing me! I will hide in this empty hole. Don't worry! The bee is gone! That empty hole in the tree trunk is a hollow tree! There is a raccoon inside! Does it live in this hollow? Yes! Raccoons, squirrels, and owls all like to make their homes in the hollow trees! That's a snail! Um, I wanted to know where does it live? There is a turtle too! Many animals, like snails and turtles, with soft bodies, carry their homes with them. These homes are called shells, and the hard exterior of the shells help protect the animals inside. It would be so fun if we were able to carry our homes. <laughs> Let's go to the other side. A beautiful rabbit is sitting here. Animals, like rabbits, dig into the ground to make their homes. These are called burrows. I think so many rabbits live here. I can see so many burrows. Yes, you were right. A group of burrows is known as a warren. Is this tree decaying from fungi? It looks like a hollow log. Yes, it might be because of the fungus. You know, skunks and weasels often like to make their homes in hollow logs. Where do the lions, tigers, and wolves live? I have seen in the movies that they roam around in the forest. But where do they sleep and rest? These animals live in caves. Caves provide safety, shelter, and protection from the harsh climate. It is a natural hollow space under the ground. These deer are going home. Where do they live? Foxes, deer, and bears live in dens. Dens are usually either buried deep underground or built by the animal to create a secret shelter. I have seen so many animal homes today. Yes, let's go home. 
It's getting dark outside. We need to go to our home. Thank you, Jill, for showing me the animal homes. You're welcome. I hope you guys also enjoyed watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.